So as you guys know, Clash Royale is in a pretty horrible spot right now. In fact, I would even say it's in the worst place it's ever been in in the seven year history of the game. But with that being said, all hope may not be lost because Solar Fury actually uploaded a video called Clash Royale if it was good. And I would say it's one of the best Clash Royale videos I have ever seen. And what he presented in the video shows so many ways they could fix the game. And the reason why I'm making this video reviewing and reacting to it is not only did he give me permission to do that, I want more people People to see this video and hopefully the devs watch this video too and actually implement some of the stuff in the game. No more diamond pass, level 15 changes, a rework to masteries, all of this and more coming in the next Clash Royale update. Welcome. So basically all the stuff that everyone's complaining about is covered in this. Welcome to TV Royale. Hello everyone, my name is Solar Fury and I'm Clash Royale's newest community manager. We've realized- And so many people were saying after this video too that he should be one of the new community managers for real just because of how good these ideas were here at Supercell that these past few Clash Royale updates haven't really hit the mark. So for that, we would like to apologize and also we are going to do our best in the future to try to redeem ourselves starting with this update. I like how he said starting with an apology because I believe that's one of the first things that the devs should do is apologize for the last couple updates. I think the community would really appreciate that. Mastery rework. We are reworking masteries to add a cosmetic track to pair with the normal track that already exists. But before we talk about that, we're also happy to announce that we are adding adding gems back into masteries. Looking back at it, our logic for removing them didn't make any sense at all. So we're adding them back for you to claim. So in terms of the- Let's go, that's a big W because that was one of the biggest complaints I saw all over Reddit and Twitter. They're taking away gems. It's awful for free to play players. So I believe that is one of the first things they have to fix for sure. New cosmetic mastery changes. Here's how they're gonna work. For each card, there will be a track that has three separate levels of rewards. And to progress, there will be specific tasks that you need to complete, similar to how the normal mastery system currently works. Level one for each of these cards will give you star points. Level two will give you a banner decoration for that card. And level three will give you an emote for that card. And also to add more value to star points, we are adding a bunch of new star point levels for cards that don't have them. And we will continue to add more star point levels beyond this update in the future. So this is- Yeah, that sounds amazing. That's one of the things I didn't really get. Why did they stop adding star point levels and tiers they stopped doing that for some reason and i never really understood why because i feel like that's something casuals love a lot are the cosmetics of the game that's what people really appreciate about brawl stars for example this is all amazing stuff so far right but there's even more. When you complete cosmetic masteries for a certain number of cards, there will be additional rewards for you to unlock as well. When you get level three on 10 different cards, you will unlock a bronze tower skin as well as a badge for your profile. 25 cards will be a silver tower skin and a badge. And then 50 cards will be a gold tower skin and a badge. And for those super dedicated players that are able to complete the cosmetic masteries for 100 cards, there will be some insane rewards at the end. You will unlock an exclusive tower skin, an exclusive profile badge, emote, banner frame, and banner decoration. This way- you yeah, that sounds awesome. I think you can never go wrong with more achievements. So I just think adding new features and stuff to the game is never really going to be that big of a risk as long as it doesn't take anything away from the game. And that's been the problem with Clash Royale recently. They've been taking away things from the game that people have enjoyed when they're adding in new things. But if they can add in awesome new things like this without taking things away, that would be perfect. You can show off your hard work in game with exclusive items and also flex on your opponent. And now everyone, including free to play players, will have access to more cosmetic items. Level 15 changes. With the card evolutions update, we definitely missed the mark in terms of how we implemented level 15. It was a system that was way too overwhelming and just made it look like that we wanted more money. Now to be fully transparent, we do need to monetize the game in some ways in order to keep it operational. But in hindsight, how we implemented level 15 was not an effective way of doing that. Yeah, that's true. They, they need to make money. So I'm glad he made that point. And that's, that's very true. And obviously the devs do want to make money, but I think they should have been more transparent about that. And people would have appreciated that more in the, instead of them saying things like the data says that people want level 15, which is not true. And I think we all know they mostly wanted money. As a result, we've decided to reduce the amount of elite wild cards needed to get a level 15 card from 50,000 down to 25,000. We also decided to change the conversion rates of common, rare, and epic cards to be back where they were before. And also we have decided to buff the conversion rates for every single magic item. The conversion rates for all wild cards of all rarities will be increased. 
and also we are increasing the conversion rates of all books to 10,000 elite wild cards and we are making it so that the book of books is worth 25,000 elite wild cards yeah that's amazing in my opinion because reducing the wild cards from 50,000 to 25,000 I think even that even though that's cutting in half that wouldn't be enough even if Supercell did that I do think that reverting back the changes they made and then also adding in more wild cards for the books I do think they definitely need to do that because even when they do that I still think they're going to make so much money from level 15. You might be wondering how can I get more book of books because they aren't even in the pass anymore. Well we're going to get to that in a little bit. We hope that these new changes will satisfy you temporarily as we develop a new system to make level 15 more worth your time. Pass Royale rework. We are completely changing how the pass system works. Instead of there being a gold pass and a diamond pass, we are merging both of those together so that way there is only one pass royale that will now be worth $6.99. Along with this new price point, you will also be able to buy this new pass for 750 gems. With this new system, and with gems being added back into the free-to-play mastery tracks, this means that free-to-play players will finally be able to unlock the pass royale. Yeah, this is awesome. I think out of maybe all the things he said in this video, this is definitely one big thing I feel very strongly about, and I saw so many other creators say this too. It's so stupid that there's two pass royales. I don't really know any other game. I mean, sure, there might be some exceptions, but for the most part, most other large games, right, that have passes and stuff like that, that are monthly, it's one of them. They don't offer two. The fact that they offer two is ridiculous. I definitely think they need to merge that together. Now, $7 is more expensive than the previous gold pass, but I promise that the rewards that you get this time will actually be worth the price point. With these rewards, we did have to cut out some of the items from the previous gold pass, such as nerfing the amount of wild cards that you get, as well as removing the magical and giant chests. But while we did end up removing some things, we also ended up integrating a bunch of items from the Diamond Pass as well. With this being the case, we feel like this $7 price point and 750 gem price point is well worth your money. And we hope that this is a better solution for the pass going forward. Cash yeah, I think that's very reasonable. Even if they made it, you know, eight or nine dollars, I just think having it be one separate pass is way better than there being two. Dual prioritization. The casual player has been neglected for way too long on Clash Royale, so we want to implement some changes that will benefit the majority of our player base. Most of these changes are going to revolve around the events tab. First things first, we are taking 2v2 out of the events tab and we are putting it back into the home screen. We know that a lot of you love 2v2 and miss it being on the home screen so we are putting it back where it belongs even though 2v2 is being moved out of the events tab you'll still be able to claim all the rewards that you want to from it including crowns towards the pass royale chests as well as season tokens we're also going to be adding more rotational game modes within the events tab currently there are three nodes that you can play in the future there will now be four the daily cap of your season token. yeah that's a w more features for casual players adding that fourth battle option and then also the 2v2 back to the home page i think that is very much so needed because i can't tell you guys how many people i've seen comment especially casual players saying they can't find the 2v2 because they don't know it was moved and i think people really underrate how much people care about 2v2 and play inside this game it's one of the best game modes to relax and chill if you don't want to play ladder so i definitely think that would be a massive quality of life change to make tokens will also be increased from 1000 to 1500 increasing this cap of 500 per day will allow you to claim a bunch more rewards from the season shop at the end of each season also for future seasons we decided it would be best to include two wild shards instead of one and we will also be adding champions back into the season shop as well the season shop is by far the best way for free-to-play players to progress in our game so we want to make sure that they can progress even faster Horace now the one thing i will say about the season shop and adding champions back to it that maybe could be kind of controversial because i saw there's people like oj doing videos where basically they were unlocking a champion when they were in arena one and that might have been the reason why they took them out of the season shop so that one's a little bit debatable but overall i agree with the other changes regarding it horizontal progression for the foreseeable future we're going to stop adding new levels to clash royale and instead integrate content with the levels that we currently have similar to how we added card evolutions within king level 7 we will continue to follow this model going forward when implementing new features with the way that clash 
Clash Royale functions on a fundamental level, adding new levels just doesn't make sense anymore. Going forward, you will not have to worry about any new levels being added, and hopefully you will be able to sleep better at night knowing that we will not be doing this anymore. New cards. Okay, I think in this video, that's probably one of the most important points I think that devs and hopefully, hopefully Supercell takes away from this to never add more levels to the game. I think if they come out and promised all of us that they will they will never add a new level to the game, I think that would be massive in gaining or regaining a lot of respect back from the community. One thing that we have come to realize over time is that people miss the excitement of new cards being added. Back when Clash Royale was in its early days, there would be updates where we would add four or even six cards at once. Unfortunately, now with the game having over 100 cards, that isn't a model that we can follow anymore. It's already difficult enough to balance all the cards that we have to make sure that each card is as relevant as possible, so adding six new cards with an update is just completely unrealistic for us. However, we still do recognize the fact that you, the community, love when new cards are added so that way new strategies can be implemented. So going forward, we will do our best to add one new card with each update. So if we do three or four updates a year, then you can expect three or four new cards per year going forward. Improved communication. Yeah, I think that's very important because keep in mind these evolutions they're not new cards they're just features on cards that already exist and i think that's another thing that's kind of frustrating for people is the gameplay isn't really changing that much like it used to with the new cards and you see casual players all the time and even like casual youtubers such as molt for example say the number one thing they miss in the game was when cards were actually being added and we haven't gotten a new card in a while i believe the last one was over six months ago which is kind of crazy Nation. our communication has been very lackluster to say the least and Instead of relying on data to make the entirety of our decisions, we're going to rely a lot more on community feedback from all of our social platforms. And also, we are going to do a much better job of utilizing our content creators to our advantage. They are the strongest link that exists between the community as well as us developers, so we want to utilize them to our fullest potential. We really do value them a great deal, but we feel like we haven't been showing them that love, especially as of late with these past couple of updates. Also, we as developers want to do a better job of having more of a presence on social media. Of course, us community managers do have a presence, but most of our head game designers do not have a presence. So going forward, our game lead as well as our top game designers will have a very active presence on Twitter, Reddit, and Instagram, so that way they can engage more with the community and see what the community's needs actually are. Okay, I love that point by him, and I just want to say, right, Max and Drew do a good job as community managers responding to the community and basically saying what's coming to the game, what they're working on, but I think it would be so so much better if some of the other developers got on Twitter too because I feel like there is a big disconnect and the other issue it creates is Max and Drew get all the hate for everything even though they're not the ones making the decision so I feel like it's not fair for them so that's another interesting thing to consider too. We will still rely on data to make certain decisions but it will not be the sole focus anymore because we have realized that that is not a good business model. Once again we as a Clash Royale team would like to apologize for the lackluster past two updates with that being the update for losers as well as the card evolutions update but going forward we'll be implementing changes to relieve the pain points of these updates and also implementing changes so that way our update development process in the future is much more seamless and yeah guys i loved his last point too at the end of the video talking about the data in fact the data is basically like a meme now because they kept saying they were using the data and it really goes to show the community doesn't want stuff to be done that just has to do with numbers and data and instead want their words to be heard anyways guys that video was incredible again huge shout out to solar fury and hopefully the devs do take a look at that video and implement some of the stuff that would be honestly a dream come true if something like this happened and i think this is one of the only ways i feel like the community will forgive all of the decisions made recently in the last few months